therussellformining.com.au and joining me today is Andrea Marsland-Smith, the CEO for Alligator Energy. Andrea, it's a pleasure to have you back on. How are you? Thanks, Shay. Really good. Thank you. Uh, now, congratulations to Alligator Energy. I believe that drilling is underway at your Sampire Uranium project in South Australia. Uh, now, this drilling leads to construction. So could you please elaborate on what's happening on the ground? Yeah, so um, late August, we had our uh, approval to start on ground work um, for our in situ recovery, field recovery trial. Um, so we had constructed the plant uh, over the last two years and that's been sitting in our Wayala office and this uh, approval late August has given us the green light to start uh, moving towards construction uh, on ground. So the first step of that now is installing the field recovery wells and there's 15 of them. Uh, we've currently uh, completed five to date so we're pleased to provide that update. Um, targeting December completion for the wells uh, installation and then uh, construction will start in terms of putting that Meccano set together in around um, early October. So that's the target date for that activity. You've used a couple of technical terms in there. I'm not sure all investors are familiar with. You talk about in situ recovery from wells. Now, let's be honest, most retail investors would associate wells with an oil project, but this is in fact a uranium project. So what activity is actually taking place? So it essentially is the same as oil and gas. We're extracting uranium using wells, just like you would uh, an oil and gas well. So except it's, it's much shallower, uh, we're extracting uranium from around 80 metres depth, not kilometres of depth. Um, but essentially it is the same process. So we install water wells and extract the uranium through those um, into, a, into the groundwater. And then the groundwater goes through the pilot plant where we extract the uranium from the groundwater and put the groundwater back into the ground. Uh, now, just to round out the overall success Alligator Energy has enjoyed this year, I noticed there's been a number of appointees to join Alligator just recently. Tell me who's on the roster and what does this mean for the company? Yeah, so look, um, excited to say that uh, we announced today a number of these appointments. Um, it's really to start delivering on our um, short and medium term milestones, i.e. the field recovery trial, getting our drilling underway, not only for the field recovery trial, but for our uh, resource expansion plans into the next couple of years, um, and also our exploration projects. We also have reorganised such that we can start delivering long-term growth for the company and move towards production, move that Samfire project through feasibility uh, into development, financing and production. So the people I've brought on board are uh, uh, exceptional uh, individuals that will help me uh, achieve that goal. And so the first one is a gentleman called Joe Satanto. He is 20 years um, uh, proficient at a CFO and COSEC role. Um, he's led um, a number of senior roles across ASX companies, global commodity traders and the big four accounting firms. And has also recently been the CFO and COSEC of Hillside, sorry, Hillgrove, um, developing the Caman 2 mine from concept to feasibility through to production. So it's exactly what we're up for now. So the other gentleman is uh, Mr. David Brink, as I said uh, earlier about the uh, parallel between in situ recovery and oil and gas. David's from the oil and gas sector. So he brings 30 years of operational experience uh, into the team and he'll be looking after the field recovery trial um, and the resource expansion as we go forward. The other gentleman is Christian Knott. Uh, I mentioned approvals and the like. So Christian's bring, coming into the company. He's got 15 years of environmental management, um, approvals and sustainability uh, for energy mining and industrial sectors. Um, he's also uh, has ISR experience with his most recent role being at Heathgate Resources, uh, overseeing the environmental management of the uh, Beverly and Four Mile uh, uranium mines. So a lot of experience coming into the team and uh, um, really looking forward to pushing forward on our, our short term goals, at least in the in the short term. Yeah. Uh, so it certainly sounds like it's going to be actions all stations. What's some of the upcoming news flow investors can look forward to? So um, we will be constructing in early October. So I will update the market on that activity once we get on the ground and, and we have the tanks and pumps arriving. Um, then I'll provide successive updates around the progress of that. We do intend to take a small break over Christmas 
and then early January start the operations. So there will be um, news flow through January, early January onwards around the success and the results of the field recovery trial. Uh, Andrea, I really appreciate your time today and I look forward to future updates. Thank you for being here. Thanks, Shay. Thanks for your time.